Hey everybody, I, I got a haircut if you didn't notice. Um, I am at the airport. First time I've been at the Vegas airport, I think ever, um, actually inside. I'm heading to Dallas to collect a con. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So this is gonna be my little travel vlog thing. I don't love flying, a little anxious. We'll see how well I, I handle the anxiety, but it should be fun. Um, so I'll let you guys see the trip a little bit here and then you'll see me in Dallas. I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I get nervous, I just pace around. So I've been walking around the terminal a bit, um, feeling fairly calm. I'll give myself credit for that. I'm trying to uh, keep level-headed. It's nice that I'm going by myself because the only person who's probably more nervous about flying than me is Dawn. And we're going to be doing it for the reseller rally in September. So it's going to be nice that I get to go out first because um, I've been flying a lot. I just don't like it. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, we're gonna go do that, and um, yeah, yeah. That being said, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to face it. Keep telling myself, in four hours I'll be in Dallas. I still got a little more time here before we head out, so it's a short flight. But I'm sure a few people can relate to this, so I'm sharing it with you guys. <laughs> so I have made it to Dallas. That was a little bit stressful, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Found a place to charge my phone, like the only place here out waiting for a pickup for Uber. Um, I'm gonna wait a few though. The people I'm meeting are gonna be there too, so I've got some time to kill. But Heritage Auctions is one of the biggest auction houses, I think in the US and even in the world. Sports cards, coins, other stuff. We're gonna get a tour, which should be really cool. So come join me, it should be fun. Well, I can definitely already feel the humidity, I didn't miss it. It's been since picking across America that I felt it. So Ugh. I prefer the dry heat if I'm gonna deal with heat. So I did a little research on the ride over here in the Uber. This is the world's largest collectibles auctioneer in the world. I think they did $1.4 billion in sales last year. I don't know exactly what kind of uh, access we're getting here. I'm uh, gonna be here with the Collects guys. Collects are the people who have the app that scans the cards and also Card Dealer Pro, which you guys have heard me talk about ad nauseum about uh, scanning my cards and putting them in Card Dealer Pro. Um, they're the guys, uh, the folks that brought me out here to talk at the Collect Tech um, Summit tomorrow. Uh, that should be fun. Um, I'm excited, um, but I'm just gonna hang out here I got a little time to kill before uh, the lift arrives with everybody from Collects. Um, I probably could try to get in. I'm just gonna wait though. I'm too shy. Fantasy Island? Yeah, you know. You're that. saying that was from MASH then? This is from MASH right <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, there's an actual reference photo of it right here. But it, you know, it shows you how far everyone's like hometowns and stuff were. Wow, that's insane. It's a, yeah, I think this is a cool art piece. That is really cool. <laughs> and then that's from the show here. Uh, you know, the plane, the plane. That's his little... <laughs> then the actual Cheers bar. Cheers bar. And then Thursday night, <laughs> actually, we're doing... This is the actual All in the Family set. <laughs> that's insane. Look at that. That is wild. Cheers set. They have Norm coming in a couple of days to drink I mean, beers with them here. Wow. Scrubs for their... What's his face? Clooney. Clooney? <laughs> wow. Doug Ross. That's wild. That is wild. This is like museum level. This is wild. Breaking Bad. The Office. Uh, Baywatch, uh, Texas Walker Ranger, I mean, there's different stuff. So this is the Johnny Carson set right here? Yeah. That's, that's wild. Oh my gosh. How on earth did he get all this stuff? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Plinko. Weakest Link. <laughs> Nine five. That's insane. This is how much again? Or estimated? Which was it? How much is this estimated? Uh, twenty-five 
20,000? 21. The last one. The last one's sold for 21, so this one should be 20 to 25,000. And yeah, what about the Charizard? Uh, they're both about 100k. Be more if oh, the PSA slab. Both because it wasn't great. How much? How much does this one go for? Or you think um, will go for? 100? That's probably gonna go for at least 100,000. Oh wow! Uh, that's one of the more rare cards for about the Pokemon Snap video game uh, contest. Wow. Gym Met PSA 10. Yeah, that's Pop 7, I believe. Family event trophy card. So that was a yeah. giving away at a special event? Or? Yeah. yeah, so that that event uh, was a contest that they did, and a parent had to play with their kid. Friday the 13th. Beckett's having issues, and yeah. ev everyone hates the case. Yeah, it's still bulky. It's still really bulky. Yeah. yeah. The bottom uh, So this you're saying is like ten to $15,000 yeah. graded yeah. 8? Funko Pops, who did not? You guys got graded Beanie Babies? I would never do Beanie yeah, Babies. No. <laughs> These actually interest me more mm -hmm. than a lot of Yeah, things. thank you. But I remember What's the being at Toys R Us looking at these. Oh yeah, KB right. Toys. <laughs> What's the estimate on something like this? Oh, let me see the version of it. Sorry, I'm giving you tough questions. Well, there are some <laughs> variants, my bad, yeah. That and also, there's so much stuff to know. It's hard to be an expert in every category. First appearance of the Black Panther. I'm used to it. Nine two. There's yeah, like so this one is the first appearance of this. Captain America. Captain America comics number one from 1941. Yes, absolutely. Uh, 1.5 million. Oh, 1.5 million. Yeah. I They're like, I don't want to. This one. This one's like ten to twelve thousand. I'm scared to touch that one. Twelve thousand, I think. Ten. Yeah, because it's a twelve pack. So. Is this all Pokemon or the magic too? That was the rest of mine. Oh yeah. Such a cool decision to do that back in '87. This is a sealed second edition. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. 50 to 75. That's wild. What's the green? I forget. What do they do? I'll be honest, guys. I didn't expect Heritage Auctions to be that big. It was like a whole city block of warehouses. I don't even think we saw everything. Uh, my phone died in the middle of filming. There was a lot of stuff they didn't want us filming in the back rooms, especially. But, um, <laughs> I got to hold like a million and a half dollar, um, comic book. Captain America number one. They have everything under the sun. There was a moment we were, um, like I said, I was with my friends at Collects, the Collects app. Uh, we, my buddy David, he was walking by something and he pointed at it and it was like, this is cool. And I, I, they were telling us, but he wasn't there, but they were telling us it was a prop Sandman, the Sandman head from um, Spider-Man 3, just sitting there in a box randomly on the floor. It was, it was pretty much more than I could contemplate and understand, especially being tired because I didn't sleep much last night. Um, I was, you know, a little nervous about flying and uh, I'm a little bit tired now. So if this is loopy, you understand why, but it was, it was wild. That place is intense. The biggest auction house in the world for, um, um, collectibles and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You got kind of a snippet of a really interesting day that I did not expect to be as interesting as it was. Uh, tomorrow I'm at Collecticon here in Dallas, Fort Worth technically, technically, and um, I'm gonna go walk around. There's not gonna. There's gonna be some cards here. That's the main reason I want to look around. But I'm here not for for the Collecticon. I'm here for the Collect Tech Summit. I'm gonna be talking with um, uh, Collects and Bo from One Million's uh, Cubs Project, one of my favorite live YouTube channels, all about sports cards using Card Dealer Pro to list a bunch of low-end stuff like I like. Nerdy stuff. You guys can check that out if you like. Uh, if Flippin' Sports Guy's here, he watches that stuff with me all the time. Uh, he's into it as well. I appreciate you guys all being here and hanging out with us. I will see you tomorrow. I need some sleep.